Hello and welcome back to Litano Lifestyle. This is a Kedolo Junction. Kedolo Junction is along the Benin Shagamu Expressway and it leads to the Kedolo community, which is the home of the famous Kedolo College of Education. So today we are going through this junction through Yoge, passing through Luku, and I'll be showing you around the local axis of Benin City. So, back to the video. The Kedolo College of Education, like we were discussing, was closed down in 2015 by the then Governor Adam Soshamale for upgrading. He wanted to turn it to a University of Education, but it was never realized. In April 2022, Governor Baseki handed the school over to the federal government. That's why it's called Federal College of Education Technical Kiadolo. So there is also a brief talk about the school. This part of Benin Shagamu Expressway, there are usually a lot of custom checkpoints here. So that is because most of the trade going on in the south pass through this road. No, there are no train services in Nigeria, so trailers are what we use to prevent smuggling of contraband. Most goods passing through this road needs to be scanned. This is Ovio Gay community, and we are passing through now, going towards Oluku. To the left is um, Jovel service station, just in Ovioge here. And you can see a lot of trailers around. Trailers park around this area for rest or for repairs. Okay, this is Tollgate Federal Road Safety Office over there. There used to be a Tollgate at this point before, but I think there was a government that was against toll gates that made all the toll gates to be removed around the country. So you won't find any, any toll gate on the road anymore. This whole area, as mentioned before, is Oviogiri community. But it can also be referred to as Benin Bypass. Because in 2002, this road was termed bypass in the 10.2 billion era project by the then Federal Ministry of Works and Housing under President Olusegun Obasanjo, to construct a bypass that goes behind Benin City, or rather beside Benin City, to reduce traveling times for travelers going to other states. So they won't have to pass through the Benin City. It spans from Ovia Bridge, which is far behind me now, through Oluku, Aochi Benin Road, Benin Asaba Road, Opa Sapomba, Benin City, and Benin Sapele Road. I will show you an illustration shortly. This is a bad spot just before Luku Bypass. It has been like this for a long time and you usually find police officers here doing their stop and search, custom officers too and even road safety. I presume they haven't repaired this part of the road because it's more like a mandatory speed break for vehicles coming from Lagos. So I just have to find my way around to continue my journey. So we continue heading towards Oluku Bypass now. In the past, these places were more of bushes. Like that is after the bypass coming towards this area to Lagos, there were no houses. Benin City was inside the bypass. So to this moment, I regard those living in this part outside the bypass as not in Benin City. But they are actually in Benin City. Okay, so that's aside. This area, we are still in Oviogie. Oluku officially starts at the Benin City bypass.
It's actually a very risky road, so I have to move faster than normal to prevent rear end. We're closer to the bypass now. Can have a feel of being in city, just like you're traveling with me. So just ahead of us, we have one oil fuel station to the right. Not too far from us. So this is it. Corner oil fuel station to the right. Opposite is we have Anayochuku oil and gas. That is um, Genesis Hotels, that road there. And across here is Terminal Hotel and Resort. You can see this road to the right. That is the road coming from the Benin City Bypass. So those coming from the ROG arm, that guy going into Benin City, actually turn from under the bypass to this point. Why those coming from Lagos but not entering Benin City, going towards the Aochi end of the bypass. We take right after this bridge. We're still on the bypass now. So that particular trailer in front, I think, is going out of the bypass. That is, it's not entering Benin City. Those going straight are going towards the local. Take a look at this truck now. Most trucks here are going towards the Aochi end of the bypass. So they just go right under the bypass. Let me show you an illustration. So the Benin City Bypass coming from Wari Sapele Road. You can see that the Sapele Road Bypass. It goes to through Idobo Bypass by Upper Sakomba and Agbo Road Bypass for those going to Asaba. Aochi Road Bypass. You can take it to Aochi. Why this is the Oluku Bypass, which is where we are now. So this is, you can see the illustration how the bypass went round Benin City. So we're not going out of Benin City. We're going to Oluku and we have just entered Oluku. This whole area is termed the Oluku Market. It's just a market by the road and it spans to Total filling station. Total filling station on Luku is ahead. When we get there, we have got into the end of the market. That's where we'll see the Benin Akure Junction. So we'll have a feel of the local market. It's not a really bubbling market, but it's just a market to get your basic stuff. So to the left there is the total fill station I told you about. So that is total fill station or Luku. However they say it. So that truck now turning to the left is going towards Benin Akure Road. So this is the junction. The road takes you to Iowa community, Evoneka community and the famous Naifo. Go through that road and go through Ifon or War and then Akure in Ondo State. So we are still in Oluku. We are entering the main town of Oluku now, which I can officially welcome you to Benin City in my own way. So to the left is Bronze Royal Hotel, that green story building you can see. It was a happening place in. 2015, 2016, I don't know what happened to them. But I don't think people patronize them as much as it used to be. I head to the left, this fence you can see is Oluku Primary School. For reference, during an election, 
both things are usually done in schools and this is one of the polling units of a local speed brakes here to safeguard the children crossing the road though it's very rare to find speed brakes on federal road this is a federal road it just has to be done some drivers can be reckless So to the left here now, we have the NMPC mega station on Luku. Before NMPC acquired Owando, naming all the Owando service units, this was the only NMPC in this area. To the right is Secret at Secondary School. That fence you saw there with the pharmacy. The pharmacy is attached to the school's fence. Right to the left here is the famous, it's not famous, but this is 7-Up bottling company or local a very big yard you can see their trucks of seven up so seven up consumed in edo delta and environs bottled here i don't think they produce it here but they are bottled here after that we have the church of jesus christ and the later descent well across the road now is the okun junction okun junction actually spans from here a six kilometer road that goes from here to Siloko Road. It's a bad road. I would have made a video on it, but I'm not sure I would. So that is Oku Road leading to Okun community. It's a developing place with a lot of newer houses there. It's a place to invest in because I'm sure one of these governments will make that road and it will open the community. We we'll continue now, still in Oluku. To the left is Gabano Hotel. It's a landmark in this area. Why you can see those masts, those network masts at the, at the front. To the right, that one you can see now is Nitel Max. The junction it's seen is Nitel Junction. You know, Nitel used to be the sole provider of telecommunications in Nigeria until 1992 when the government allowed other particles to come in. I think that's where Nitel started dying. They were sold off to Transcorp in 2006 where they laid off all their workers. So that's Nitel Junction we just passed. And since then, Nitel died off. Still in Oluku and we head towards Mobile Oluku, another landmark in Oluku. I'm calling that landmark because these are places you tell bus drivers and they all know it. So across the road is Mobile Oluku and opposite it is Living Faith Church Oluku. That yellow compound there. The next landmark here is J. Charles Furniture. They've been in the business since 1982, if I'm not mistaken. That's um, the building to the left. That's the story building you can see there. That's J. Charles Furniture. It's just before Idowina Primary School. The brown fence you can see there. That's Idowina Primary School. Another polling unit during the election. The opposite to Domina Primary School, we have the Scripture Union National Camp. There's this road, it leads to Scripture Union, it's not far from the road. And opposite it is a Degbe Estate, those brown buildings you can see there. After a Degbe Estate, you have the same CNG station. That is, it's for CNG powered cars. Owned by NIPCO. Opposite it, you have the fuel station for NIPCO too. I'll show you that now. This is the NIPCO fuel station. 
Bearing Fence Street, one of the biggest mocha foam distributors in the area. So opposite that now is Asodok Junction, that's Sandy Road, you can see there. And this is again Aluminium Annex, where they make their Gerard roofs. That's complex you could see there. There's a specialist hospital here, I don't know the name, and after that you have Ebo Hotel. A lot of businesses are choked up here, so sorry I had to rush. This is evidence of the Gospel Church. So that begot the name of Evidence Junction, another landmark, which is this junction here. It's a place people go to rent because they have constant lights. We just passed St. Titus College and we're heading towards Inner Oil. If you go to Ring Road and you're coming towards Isio, mind you, we're in Isio now. We've left Oluku. I will show you the boundary between Isio and Oluku shortly. If you enter a bus from Ring Road going to Isio, they tell you Isio by Ine, Isio by Ine. So they usually turn by the Ine oil. The Ine oil has been sold off to Shafa Energy now, just by the left. So it's no longer Isio by Ine, it's Isio by Shafa. So we are turning by the CEO by Shafar now. Here we'll be facing the Ico gas plant. This yellow compound you can see is Ico gas plant for cooking gas. This is where the buses usually turn. Those coming from Ring Road and the rest. You see by in they turn here and go back to Ring Road. So to the right used to be the inner oil now Shafar Energy. Times change, you know. So this is Isio. And there is a billboard across the road used to demarcate Isio from Oluku. So I was told. It's not in the map like that, but I accepted it as that. So this area is Isio, and this video was on Oluku, so I had to turn back. There are businesses scattered around this place. Most of them are new businesses. There's real about pharmacy, Benin City. There's the St. Titus College. Sharing friends with the evidence of the Gospel Church. This building you can see here. So after evidence of the Gospel Church, you can see that billboard that goes across the road. That's the end of this year and the beginning of Oluku. So Oluku spans from this billboard to the end of Benin City Bypass. So, that whole area is all local. I think we've covered enough now. And we'll be ending this video here. So, I appreciate you for watching this long. And invite you to subscribe for more videos that will be dropping soon. We appreciate Mr. Felix Olame for reaching out and supporting the channel. And every comment posted on our work, we read them and we appreciate them. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you on the next video. Bye for now.